What's up lads and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I've got for you is a FIFA 19 starter squad squad builder. This is a hybrid that I predict would probably cost about 20 to 25,000 coins if you're lucky or on Xbox should I say and you do it a little bit earlier maybe in early access you could probably get it for a little bit cheaper and it will rise and if you're on PlayStation you get the Champions or Ultimate Edition the same thing. Get it three days before, build the squad straight away. It will probably rise a few thousand coins by the time you go to sell it a few days after. And Bob's your uncle, you've made a million coins profit in three minutes. That is the video title for today. Let's get into it. Squad is going to be in a 4-3-2-1 formation, mainly because I feel like this formation is really easy to hybridize. And obviously with the custom tactics, the advanced custom tactics and... Just the really cool feature EA have brought in for FIFA 19. You can actually change your formation and the way you play with the press of like the D-pad, which is, you know, this bit here. So you can actually change how it all works with this snap of one button. So I think that starting off at any formation shouldn't actually have any impact on the way you play because you can change it as quickly as possible. So we went with the 4-3-2-1 and we're going to go straight into the squad and starting off in goal. In goal, we're starting off with Horn. Now, I've actually got some confirmed ratings and some unconfirmed ratings in this squad, thank you to the capture event leaks that we have got. If you don't follow the FIFA Reddit, then go and follow the FIFA Reddit and go in, I think it's subscribe to the newsletter or something like that. Um, but you get up to date if you go onto the Reddit pretty much every day on brand new screenshots that have been leaked from the capture event. And we're starting off with Horn, who actually has a minus one downgrade from last year. Now, I actually looked at this guy's price last year. And around September 29th, when the full game was released, he was about 1.5k. So I predict this guy on early access and on the early access of the modes, both on PlayStation and Xbox, he'll probably be around 1,000 to 1,200 coins. And then we'll rise a few hundred coins as we go on. Um, he's a pretty usable card. Now, looking at his stats, they are pretty usable. Obviously, I don't have like... The, the screenshot is super low quality, so I don't want to put it on the video, but he has pretty decent usable stats, uh, and he's a decent goalie every year. The only time he actually starts to rise is when he is used for SBCs, basically. So if you want to buy a few of him and keep him in your club, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make some coins on. He'll be used for SBCs pretty close to the start date, you know, like the... Uh, the cultural exchange for example or all the other uh, advanced SBCs he's usually used for so he's not a bad bet investment wise and he's a decent goalkeeper. A right back we've got the Dortmund and German man I believe his name is Toljan or Toljan I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it uh, however this is actually a confirmed rating he has got the same rating as what he had last year he's had a bit of a pace increase though I'm predicting his price to be anywhere from about 750 coins to 1500 coins at max I'd probably say because uh, he doesn't have the world's best defending stat but he's pretty fast and he's got okay dribbling so I think as a right back he's not going to be too bad and obviously because he doesn't because people don't really use German league teams that that much and i know my comments are full up with i use a german league team all the time and that's cool but generally speaking like they're not the most overly used of squads so they're not going to be like heavily price fixed so i think he'll be about a thousand coins maybe like there i think that's where he'll settle and he's got half decent stats on the right center back spot now we have got diallo who's also a uh, a confirmed rating he's had a plus two upgrade and he's got really decent stats i predict his price to be around 1200 to 2000 coins roughly um he's i think he's got some of the better stats in terms of pace and uh, physical his defending's not quite there though i think it's in the low 70s slash mid 70s so you know obviously you're gonna have to struggle with the defending ever so slightly Slightly, but he'll be quite fast so he'll be decent to catch up to a lot of attackers and he looks like a half decent card as well especially for a starter squad obviously you know you're not going to be able to get the your, your 91 ramos or your yeah whoever you want to get straight away you know your, your, your baby Sol campbell for example or the man lasses etc they're not going to be available to everyone straight away so to get a starter squad like this i think he'll be probably pretty op to use next one we've got another confirmed rating it's actually carrera now he has an incredible looking card i think he has around 77 78 pace uh decent defending as well and decent physical now he wasn't even in fifa 18 I, I researched it earlier and if you guys can actually find his card in a previous fifa let me know down below but i couldn't find him in fifa 18 uh and he plays for psg now he actually has a really decent looking card so i predict his price to be around two to three thousand coins obviously being a brand new card in fifa he will be a little bit more expensive than your diallo for example or other center backs uh, of the similar rating and similar stats however he plays for psg and the french league as well is not the most used uh, team especially towards the defense a lot of people like to use hybrids and, and have neymar and Mbappe, cavani people like that but they don't really go for the defensive players that often so i think that carrera i think i'm saying that name right carrera carrera i'm not entirely sure how to say his name properly will be around 2000 coins maybe 
uh, when you pick him up. And he'll be a really OP player to use. At the left back spot now, we have got Bernat. He transferred from Bayern Munich to PSG. Again, another player that is unconfirmed rating wise, but I just went for a similar rating to his previous card. And I think he suits the PSG badge. Maybe it's because Yuri had, has a PSG card or had a PSG card. It just looks right. But uh, I think he suits the PSG badge. However, I think they have pretty decent stats. And he usually does have like, uh, you know, low 80s pace, low 80s defending, low 70s uh, physical roughly. So I think that he'll have pretty similar stats to that. And I'm looking forward to a card like that as a PSG player because for a starter squad like this, he works really, really well. I predict his price to be around 1,500 to 2,500 coins roughly. Um, I think that he'll probably actually be towards the lower end of that spectrum if the French League is not used as much as people are predicting. Now, I know with Mbappe and Neymar, it might be used a little bit more than, uh, than what people are predicting. However, I think that... I think the top end of the French League, like for example, your Mbappe, your Neymar, will be used a lot. I can't see the midfield or the defensive pre uh, of French League teams being used very often. I really can't. I think that a lot of people will not use the defense in the midfield and only use the attack in a hybrid. So I thought we'd utilize that by going with a defense and a midfield from the French League. Starting off now in the right in the midfield, sorry, the right center mid spot is actually Dahoud, an unconfirmed rating. I predict his price to be around one to 2,000 coins. He usually has a pretty well-rounded card and uh, I predict his card to be no different to sort of previous years. Now, I don't watch a lot of the Bundesliga and don't know a fat lot about Dahoud himself, but I, you know, I can't imagine he'll get a downgrade. I haven't seen anything bad about him granted i've not really seen too much good about him but i've not really seen anything that's damning him or damning his performance or anything like that so an 80 rate card with half decent stats would be pretty cool and it works really well with the team and i predict probably about a thousand to two thousand coins because cards like that it's not that they're boring but they're just not like really extravagant so people don't really go for those kind of cards so i can i can probably guess that he won't be used as much as like the likes of i don't know for example forsberg if he's got a decent card uh tiago for example you know those cards will be used a lot more than like the likes of dahoud even though his stats are pretty decent left center mid is actually diara this is an unconfirmed rating however i think so i'm saying unconfirmed to be safe i think it is confirmed but i actually couldn't go back there's two players in this team i couldn't actually go back and find i think it got deleted the the screenshot i saw uh but i couldn't go back and find the ratings however i i think it's confirmed don't hold me accountable for that. I'm going to say it's unconfirmed for now because I can't go back and find the proof that it is confirmed. However, I am almost certain I saw his card that was 79 rated CDM from PSG. I don't know. Maybe maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm going crazy. However, I think his price will be about 800 to 1700 coin. 800 to 1700 800 to 1.7k i'm just gonna say like that to be to be a little bit more easy like make it easier on me and easier for people to understand his price um i think that he'll be a really good cdm and probably someone good to change formation and bring him a little bit more deep uh i can imagine his pace will be around the 60 to 70 pace mark maybe low 60s it depends how uh, how mean they are to this guy but um i think it worked really well on a team like this and uh, and you'll see why in just a second the central cdm is an englishman and actually a confirmed rating this is uh dire this is dire from uh, from spurs he's actually had a minus two downgrade and a, a position change to cdm now with dire's card he doesn't really have a fat lot of pace um i think he has like on fifa 18 i think it's like 65 and i can imagine with a downgrade he'll probably get downgraded to low 60s maybe high 50s so i can't imagine his card will be used that much however this guy's defensive positioning is really really good as he used to be a center back uh, i think that his height is really good he's good at uh, winning the ball he's got really good passing as well for uh, for a defensive mid and uh, i think that would be actually really usable in fifa 19 now price prediction i'd probably say about 900 to 1400 coins maybe a little bit more if there's sbcs that require a semi-decent rating team from like the premier league or an english team for example um but i think that if there's not he'll probably be about that price because no one really wants a, a slow cdm if you're not thinking about it the way i'm thinking about it and I'll, I'll go into that a little bit more in a little bit however i think that he's quite good in terms of the dynamic of his card because he can be used as a center back he can be dropped back if you want him to uh if you want to change up to a five back formation maybe you're winning and it's like late game you want to switch the uh, formation up to switch to your like ultra defensive five back formation he can slot back into that cb spot and you can have the two center mids there that's why i think he'd be a good card to use in a team like this so you're trying to cover all angles really um but he also gets a link to the left wing uh, sorry the left forward the right forward and we'll get into those in just a second 
Start off a ride forward is actually another one the same as Dyer. Now, I am 100% sure that I saw a screenshot of the Everton ratings and Theo Walcott was 78 rated. However, I cannot go back and find that screenshot to prove it. So I'm going to have to go with an unconfirmed rating here. However, I'm almost 100% sure that he is 78 rated. I just couldn't go back and find it. It's so annoying. I think people have been deleting screenshots in fear of them getting like taken down on Twitter, for example, by EA. So... Who knows? However, this card looks pretty decent. He'll probably have about 85 to 90 pace. And the reason I say that is with the blanket pace downgrades and Theo Walcott not being as good as he once was in terms of the way EA sort of see him. Obviously, like they see him as like a full from grace from Arsenal. He'll probably have a lot of stat downgrades in FIFA 19. I think that ultimately... Uh, this card will probably have high pace, but won't be like 95, 96, which although he deserves it, I don't know. EA are just weird. They're just, just they're just a weird company, so we'll see. However, I think it'll be about 1,000 to 2,000 coins. There's a whole lot of right right wingers and right forwards this year and right mids and left, left wings, left forwards and left mids that these kind of players just won't be that expensive because they won't be used that much. It's just a whole array of different players. So if I were you, I'd pick someone to like this up because it'd be pretty OP. At left forward, we've gone with Danny Welbeck, who is a confirmed rating. He's had a minus one downgrade and a position change to left winger, which is really interesting from my uh, eyes. I've predicted this price to be about 1,500 to 2,500 coins because obviously he's got a position change, so he might be used a little bit just to see what he's like at left wing, but I can't imagine him being used that much. I imagine his pace will probably be in the high 70s. I don't think he'll even have 80 pace. However, the reason I've gone with Danny Welbeck here is because he can double up as a striker. You'll see the striker in just a second, but this guy is pretty tall. He's got good sort of heading stats, jumping stats. So if a ball's whipped in from Theo Walcott or right forward, there's a very good chance that Welbeck could be waiting at the back post to sort of nod it in or, or, or get the uh, get the final touch on the ball, which is why I thought I'd go with Danny Welbeck. He's a decent player for that sort of stuff, and he always has decent attacking positioning, so he's always in the right spot. So I've gone with Danny Welbeck there, and uh, I can predict that he won't actually be used that much this year because he probably won't have the most pace, but he probably will be a pretty solid card. A striker, we've gone with another unconfirmed rating in Andre Gray. Now, I predict his price to be around 2,500 to 4,000 coins. Probably be a little bit more on the expensive side if he's super pacey and got decent shooting because people like to go with the pacey Premier League strikers all the time. However, I think that he could double up as a left forward and Welbeck move into striker, which is why I thought I'd go with those two as a partnership. Um, I think that that trio up front is going to be really pacey and really good at scoring. So I think that, honestly, I would use that, that up front trio as a starter squad. Let me know what you think of the squad, though, down below. I'd love to hear your opinions. Who do you think you're going to pick up? Who you're not going to pick up? I'd love to hear all of your opinions down below. Thank you for watching this video, lads, and I'll see you lads later.